Nature is the only thing which we need to protect. Nature is the only thing which we got from the primitive time of the earth. And nature is the only thing which we need to develop also. Welcome back in this lecture my dear students. Today this lecture is depending all upon the nature and this is the lecture of 10th standard lesson number 9 forest and the natural wildlife resources to here. The word forest comes in the mind we think about the jungle we think about the natural inhabitants about of the human life from the ancient time and now the human life has been moved towards the primitive era towards the latest modern system of the new society so we can say that now today in this world we need to understand that the natural inhabitants the natural environment wildlife protection act reservoirs every should everything should be actually under the uh, privacy zone or we can say it can be actually protected directly by we or we can say our own self here we all need to come together we need to protect together also in this lecture of the 10th standard ss we are gonna learn the basic thing about the wildlife resources the natural resources and also the resources which are very very valuable resources since from the ancient time let's talk about the existence existence of the previous uh, we can say primitive progress also since from the early lifestyle of the hum human beings cave and the forest too here if you talk about the human beings journey they started from the cave towards the new society of the building also now in that kind of things they started to make up maximum and extra kinds of general things now in the general things the one thing is very pretty sure and common is that we forget to protect the nature that's why we need to understand the value of nature and also we need to understand the preservation protection act too here which can be helping us for the better future upcoming inside the new era to here now my dear students you need to focus on the lesson number nine that is the first topic is displaying itself about the basic things related to forest related to wildlife related to water resources plant trees and many more kinds of things also so therefore we can say that okay, the existence of the progress of the human being actually from the man which is depending upon the resources only resources are unlimited as we think but actually they are also having some kinds of limitations now if you think that resources are unlimited then we are using it apart from the judiciary not like judiciary it means that regarding resources we are most of in the proportion wise wasting the resources that's why we need to understand the value of resources too here as if we talk about the forest they are considered one of the very best uh, we can say part of our living world because they generate oxygen they give us food and they give us almost everything between what we need from them mineral resources and many more kinds of things also we're getting from the forest here so if we talk about in the detail form then we can say that our needs are actually our needs are actually extra if you talk about needs can be fulfilled but greed cannot be fulfilled that's the thing which i'm making you try to understand that needs can be fulfilled my dear student but greeds cannot be fulfilled therefore we need to understand the resources and they're used also as i have also previously discussed in my previous lecture of this ss syllabus so if we go more understanding in the factor if you go more further then we can understand that okay, this kinds of systematic theories of a general meaning of the forest can be related with the we can say virgin vegetation and non-virgin vegetation now one is virgin vegetation that is the forest itself it is growing by the help of agents and sometimes it is growing directly by the help of the mineral and the seeds fallen down there so therefore we can say that okay, this kinds of forests are very very valuable and they are needable resources too here now if you go more further we can say that the only vegetation that is included which can be raised naturally without itself can be also compared as the uh, we can say like virgin vegetation now the vegetation which is actually used or which is actually growing by the help of we can say man-made or other kinds of uh, natural agents also that can be compared inside the non-virgin or we can say vegetation too here so that's how we can say it can be classified into different here forest classification is a term of theory where you need to understand in which area you are standing if you are going to visit any kind of forest and you need to also understand what are your general fundamental duties principles rules regulations according to the state government according to the central government and according to the general theory of the laws too here now if you talk about the forest forest can be classified according to the different uh, we can say criteria now what are the criteria here land wise they can be classified 
geographical position they can be classified special amount of trees also they can be classified so therefore we can say in the starting of the lesson we can understand three basic things related to the forest okay reserve forest protected forest and if you go more further unclassified forest are also there therefore we can say here we'll know about all these kinds of basic types of the forest here now what is actually if you talk about what is actually known as the preserved forest reserved for itself name that it is actually reserved now by which group of people who are the people reserving this kinds of forest that can be easily understood my dear students that the reserve forest means such the forest are actually which are controlled by the government under the act of government it is coming that can be said as a reserved forest also we can say that this kinds of forest can be also classified into the basic theory like here instructions and uh, we can say that like on the lumbering of the uh, other animals pasteurizations and all are not allowed it here so somehow we can say that okay, these are actually uh, allowed it but some only with the proportion means not 101 percent some proportions are allowed it in the pasteurizing land also and the uh, cutting of the woods also but not in the heavy amount so they are quite liberal and they are quite they, they are more strict to here second thing if you go more further then we can say protected forest now protected for itself means that the forest is protected well what is going to happen in the protected forest if you are going to visit the protected forest then you can see easily that basic okay, these kinds of forests are actually looked after by the administration purpose directly by the local people and the permitted people also the people who are actually permitted by that now collection of the wood and grazing of the animals their animals without causing harm to the trees can be allowed but if you are actually causing harm to the trees you have to pay the penalty that's a general thing here and same as we can say that the collection of the woods in any kind of forest if you'll ask me in any kind of forest is not like it's it's protected you can collect the woods but if you're going to cut the big trees if you're going to cut the green trees and all then they it is that is actually not accepted by the government so we can say that if you want to collect the woods or you can collect the branches of the woods and all then they must be fallen down then only they should be collected if you are trying to make them fall down by cutting them and then they are collecting then actually you are doing some kinds of legal to the illegal term of policy and illegal term of policy is not accepted in our nation so therefore we can say last but not the least is the unclassified forest this forest are still not classified open barren land is there trees are growing there some of the temples could be there and which is not actually restriction from the trees falling also animal grazing also there is no restriction you can go visit come back nothing is nothing is actually taken care of that here so this can be said as the three basic types of the forest as i told you now moving further we can say classification of forest can be also done over the ownership okay state forest we can say or we can say communal owners and all like local self-government maximum kinds of details are also given in that kind of theory store here so if you talk about the owner then we can say that the forest of india are classified over the basic types of the ownership also administration purpose also and the management aspect also again the three basic things are coming there which is ready to make you understand that the forest can be also classified over the owner basis also and that is also basic theory that you need to understand my dear student now if you go more further then we can say that okay, this kinds of owners or this kinds of classification of the forest is done just because because that kind of forest or the forest resources or the resources related to the forest are somehow limited that's why we can say that okay, these forests are also somehow protected well they have also been classified well so moving further i can say that here okay after the reserve protected and unclassified forest we need to move on the state forest you must be living in a state and the state must be constructing or it, it could be connecting with the some kinds of forest areas too here which will be consisting some of the forest area as i am living inside the panch mahal i also actually related with a forest area nearby that that is the chapanir power in the world heritage center as as per the unesco it, it has been also approved out apart from that theory we can say that like state forest central or the state government is actually focusing controlling that forest here illegal hunting for uh, and uh, we can say smuggling holding of the animals and all are strictly prohibited in this kinds of areas of the forest therefore we can say that government is taking a keen interest in this kinds of forest and it is actually falling under the country legacy so all of the nation is protecting that kind of forest apart from that if we go more further then we can say that okay, this kinds of uh, forest are also related with the theory where every every concept of the rules are weighed out here too 
So, second, when if we go more there, then we can say communal forest, communist forest means somehow we can say it is de depending on a, a community from a hereditary purpose. So, therefore, we can say that here local self government is working according to the theory. And apart from that, if you go more further, then we can say that Gram Panchayat is there, Municipal Corporation is there, uh, then District Panchayat is there. They all are actually having some kinds of their contribution towards this kinds of forest in the protection also and in the flourishment also. Therefore, these kinds of forests are also like they have been controlled. They can be also said as controlled forest here. Last but not the least, then we can say that private forests are also there. Now, itself the name private is making you to understand that the forest may be belonging to your ancestors, forefathers, of course. So, if you talk about the private forest, then we can say that these such kind of forests are owned by a self-government or we can say individual person single person okay and therefore the country alone is not responsible for this kinds of forest so uh, we can say that okay, they are actually relating with some kinds of people and they are only looking after them the government is not having any kind of interference if you ask me okay, by which kinds of uh, sir which kind of the uh, examples are there of the individual forest or we can say private forest then i could say that punjab is there meghalaya himachal pradesh is there like odisha and all maximum kinds of states are there in india which are actually sharing their internal forest area with the general people and the people are the owner of their own forest here so that's why this kinds of things are also related with the general impact here now if we understand about the forest civilization if you understood about the forest resources and all then we need to also understand my dear students that there are some kinds of destruction also which can be said as deforestation before starting deforestation let me define you there are some kinds of consequences related to deforestation and afforestation now what is afforestation and deforestation afforestation means when the trees are grown in an extra amount same as their abundance amount the trees are grown they can be said as the afforestation same as if you go more further what is deforestation when the trees are cut in the abundance amount that are known as the deforestation so if we go more further there we can say that okay, these kinds of general theories are relating with this kinds of theory where the human beings are selfishly growing the trees also and with the selfishness we can say like uh, they are becoming selfish also when they are cutting the forest over here. Deforestation means it is actually a pure destruction created by the progress of man, human being in the need of furniture and in the need of land. They cut the trees which is which is not an appreciable business, which is not an appreciable thought of mythology. So therefore we can say that okay, such kinds of forests which are actually deforested are nowadays about to uh, become the barren land or we can say they are about to become like uh, the land of no man. So therefore we need to predict this kinds of forest here. These also result in the raining. Raining means rain cycle can be also disturbed by the destruction of the forest and that's how you need to understand that destruction to the man material um, uh, forest and other kinds of thing can be also affecting us in the upcoming time or era to here. Now if you go more further then we can understand what is impact of destruction what is impact of destruction the impact of destruction can be that the quantity of the carbon dioxide the quantity the quantity of the carbon uh, is increasing in the atmosphere and you know that basically what is happening my dear students if the quantity of the carbon will be increasing inside the atmosphere then we can say the effect of greenhouse can be also seen there therefore we need to understand here okay, deforestation actually is creating some kinds of havoc towards the brain and same as we can say this is not a problem of our country where we need to actually fight alone with that but this is actually the problem of whole of the globe where whole of the earth people should be come forward to protect the forest whenever you are using some kinds of motor vehicles then they are also emitting maximum amount of carbon monoxide now these kinds of oxides are also actually they are released inside the nature now when they release inside the nature they are actually mixing with the rain too here or we can say they are actually making our ozone layer penetrate so the rays of ultraviolet rays can be also falling there therefore ice caps are melting temperature is increasing many more kinds of things are arising due to this kinds of problematic thing to here therefore we can say that key the fertility of the farm is also decreased because of this kinds of thing and in the peninsulas when if you talk about the kerala or we can say the down below of the tamil nadu kanyakumaris and all then we can understand ki the forest has been decreased 
and somehow due to that deforestation has been causing many kinds of problems related to the men and material there many living organisms have lost their abodes you live in a house i live in a house what will happen if they take our land we'll have no house same as many of the rare species of the animals are now extinct on the verge and the remaining animals have been losing their abodes they don't have their houses therefore we can say that the living organisms are also suffering due to human interference so if you go more further my dear student then we can say that okay we need to understand that water management should be there forest management should be there okay and we can say settlement in the search of food and water animals are coming inside our area that should be also stopped out and maximum kinds of things our experience in that should be also stopped out more apart from that if you talk about the instant value of the recorded uh, forest or we can say carnivorous animals are also like they are actually killing the domestic animals that's a record if the area of the wild animals are only not protected then is it not possibility that they will come in our area is it possibilities we are disturbing the food chain we are responsible for that so we need to move further therefore so we can say what can be remedies the question is coming there okay what can be remedies for the protection of these kinds of things Kaise bachaya jai isko? researchers should be made okay research should be carried out to find out the option of wood as the optional fuel then also we can say that we should reduce the general use and amount of the carbon and we could save the forest Apart from that, wherever trees are to be cut, inevitably they should be cut and wherever they should be grown, they should be grown out. The trees which are about to fall down to create some kinds of, uh, we can say, and it is creating some kinds of forest fire, that kind of trees should be examined well and it should be cut out. Now, if you talk about not only the trees, but we can say species which are about to extinct on verge, we are about to disappear. The species which are about to disappear should be also protected well, the breeding of them, or we can say growing of their young ones should be also taken care that's how we can protect the forest only by growing the trees is not a one solution for the protection of the forest same as we can say this kinds of industries which are exceeding amount of a carbon we are actually breaking some kind of laws uh, some kinds of laws and other thing should be also somehow we can say stopped out because if they're not stopping out these kinds of industries are only the industry which will make our earth to become hell one time so you can say afforestation creating industries the industries which is in woods on an extra amount that should be also banned out apart from that we can say that under the name of ecotourism some of the camps are there some of the tourism parks are there some of the theme parks are there which are damaging <clears throat> they should be also strictly controlled you might have you might have taken visit of any kind of natural camp natural park in the gujarat most of the resorts are there resorts are in the lap of nature means trees are also cut out there so this kinds of natural resorts should be also taken care of well if they are actually affecting any kind of natural environment or the forest or animal too so this is the lecture depending upon the forest forest uses then is wires and many more kinds of things my dear student that is actually we need to understand in this basic lecture now this is not only it if you talk about the widespread public awareness then public awareness should be also allotted widespread public awareness should be there and if you talk about the programs the programs like we can say among the people to save forests should be also made to be run out then more the, we can say the implementation policy should be also focused out means the important forest decisions should be taken out from the state government central government and the local municipal government to hear how we can protect this kinds of forest apart from that we need to understand that a conservation strategies should be made out school colleges should be consisting the lessons related to forest as i am teaching you today the forest wildlife and conservation act that should be also actually kept inside the syllabus of the uh, we can say kids who are actually going in colleges studying in school some cartoons should be made on that so that forest protection act should be understood since from a child age to the old man age also that's why whole of the india can be transforming well now this is only not it we can say that these kinds of theories are actually working but when they are working you know my dear students whenever the human beings like we all are actually supporting that then only they can work otherwise they can not work so we need to support that here so we need to understand the importance agriculture agroforestry should be also based up and somehow we can say that in the place of firewood 
alternative things can be also used out here and this is not here we can say that okay, natural gas should be also somehow used in a judicial manner c and g compressed natural gas will also so used out in the judicial manner that's why we can protect the forest here forest actually we can say resources should be used sparingly sparingly means what as much you need that much you can use judicially you should not throw that kind of thing you should not waste that kind of thing you should not uh, try to make your money also wasted and the resources which you're getting from the forest also wasted so you should not commit that kind of theory in your life here apart from that we can say healthier infested trees should be planted out here and also they should be taken care about that some of the trees which needed to be removed out they should be removed out the older trees which are about to fall out here and also we can say separate systems should be created for the national level it should be created to dousing the fire also you might have seen the fire of indian forest are not seen that much but we talk about australia we talk about california mexico's and all like most of the forest are burning most of the forest are burning there in the summer season so special team branch special department should be made to the uh, related to the firefighting agents so that they can protect the forest also whenever it is needed there so these are the general thing which we are reading about the forest see now we need to understand my dear student whenever there are some kinds of fire or there is a fire inside the forest it has caught the fire what shall we need to do we need to if you see any of the animal try to make them feel comfortable by calling them nearby you and if they are the predators like tiger lion leopard jaguar and all then you should be aware of that but the cute little animals like we can say rabbits are there kangaroos are there peacock is there bird from that other things then you should try to make them feel comfortable because they're so innocent animals so therefore if you go more further we can say okay, due to the increase of the means of transport one of the reason it is also increasing about the forest as much we are growing inside the highways as much we are going about the means of transportation that much we are affecting the forest so we need to understand to control some kinds of vegetational transportation too here means if you are transporting vegetational or make a vehicle and material inside the forest we are making tunnels we are making bridge we are making internal highways and all then we need to try to take out an option for that before cutting any forest because the animals are dying fearing and also they are mentally traumatized due to the heavy engine sound to here when we are crossing from the jungle so these kinds of things should be also taken care of here now we can say that okay, this is a special platform should be properly made out to for the protection of the forest also and they should be protected proper law should be also made out all the old laws should be also remodified so that some of the strictness could be seen in that time to time now our india not only india we can say all of the world is having diversity now what is diversity the word diversity means that differences in the vegetation it means that it is divided into classifications of the materials types and many more kinds of things to here that is known as the diversity now in this case of diversity we need to understand that diversity stands only where, uh, where diversity is standing only where uh, we can say like where the environment is suitable for the diversity if the environment is not suitable for the diversity different different species of the animals will be not found at that place so now we can say there is a large diversity in the climate of india uh, physiography of india and locative zones of the india also so we can say that due to the geographical diversity large vegetation variations and other things can be also seen here like starting from an insect to the big predator can be seen here so apart from that birds animals various species of the flies and many more kinds of things can be seen here my dear students so if you are living in the india you must go and visit the indian forest over here so <clears throat> you can make yourself more understand about this kinds of literature therefore the wildlife which are actually mentioned in our textbook or we can say that the wildlife which is actually diversified can be also one of the theory which we need to understand so that we can protect this kinds of forest in the further future to here because as soon as possible we will not understand the theory of basic concept related to the wildlife diversity and many more kinds of things that we are not going to till then we are not going to understand the value of the forest to here so let's focus over the wildlife and the diversity to here now according to the textbook we can say that there is a large variety of the animal bird creatures or uh, we can say many more kinds of things are available in our nation 
now apart from that we need to focus on some of the things which are very valuable here so if you focus on the textbook, textbook then it is shown here that the diversity of the wildlife in india is due to the climate and geography also as i said you earlier just before two to three seconds so it is also showing that okay, there are about 15 lakh species of the animal and the bird in the world out of that if you talk about out of this kinds of 15 lakh species it even 1251 species of the animals and the other things are found in india therefore if you talk about this kinds of calculation then we can say that india is actually standing on a very good level but it needs to improve well therefore the species are it's it actually found in the india and if you talk about it more in detail then we can say india stands 12th rank 12th rank in the worldwide in the term of biodiversity now it is not needed to make you explain about the biodiversity because that you have already read learned in the lesson or the chapters of the 8th standard ss textbook when i made you to understand all the spheres biosphere hydrosphere troposphere then we can say like atmosphere lithosphere and other spheres here so if we go more in the detail of the lesson then we can say that animals from the asia can be also seen here europe and africa and apart from the africa they are also seen in the india some of those pieces are available right now also in india and if you talk about african zarak that's an also animal then african zarak european wolf wild goat and also kashmiri deer elephant then gibbons other related to the monkeys and all are also available here which are actually from the southeast asia so that's a general thing which we actually need to understand in this theory also if you go more further than different kinds of sir uh, different kinds of sir uh, like we can say sari strips are also available in india then different kinds of fishes are also available in india rare fishes and all and the biodiversity of india actually including all these kinds of things here like kashmiri deer if you call about kashmiri deer is there then we can say black bug elephant gibbons as i said you indian sloth bear and many more kinds of things are there if you talk about the kaziranga the rhinos are protected there gear forest asian lions are protected there and many more kinds of theories are related and protected there with this kinds of very interesting fact where we are trying to make our nature safer better long lasting too here now tourism as human beings are needing to go for the tourism purpose for the tour purpose the birds are also needing to go for the tour purpose why i'm telling you this because my dear students in this wildlife and diversity we need to understand that some of the birds related towards the kutch are also migrating from central china and north american side too here like flamingos and all also if we talk about vadwana lake of vadodara it is also related with the migratory birds too if you are interested then you can go and you can see the beauty of nature in the open wide space of the area along with that we can say that indian hawks are also there peacocks are there gorets are there busted birds are there uh, then lately flamingos kingfishers can be also seen here in the india and we can say that okay, these are currently uh, available in india but not that much amount they are rarely species seen in the india some part of the zone only snow leopard if you talk about the himalayan snow leopard you can see every figure inside your textbook snow leopards are also available and therefore we can say that okay, these are actually available inside the himalayan zone same as red pandas are there they are also found on the semi altitude zone where this guy we can say they are actually mixing with the other animals but staying uh, on a different path and they're eating also some kinds of tender bamboo leaves or the bamboo sticks too here red pandas i'm talking about and they're very cute little animal but they're dangerous too if you're hurting them currently my dear students india is the only country in the world where tiger and lion exist sundarban royal bengal tiger for the sundarban and if you talk about the lion the asia's greer is one of the a home for the asian lion that is gujarat's kid if you have not visited must go and visit the gear forest too but be safe because lions are lions they are not the toys or the big cats to play there so you need to take care of yourself very well now currently as i said you okay, during this kinds of natural calamities and all they are also affected in the rainy season right now uh, you can say that kaziranga is affected assam is affected maximum by the flood maximum deer chinkaras cheetal then uh, we can say other animals related to rhinos and all are actually coming on the uh, on the roadways or they are out from their own reservoirs and all why this happen because there is mismanagement of the government to here the water logging should be properly built up so that flood should not be coming there apart from that we can say that okay, during the winter migratory birds are also there from the distant places they are coming along with the watershed area which is actually developed at kerala national park 
Kyola Dev National Park. Then we can say like other parks of uh, Gujarat related to, as I said, you Vadwana also. Vadwana Lake is there. Then we can say Bharatpur, Rajasthan. One of the park is there, and also Nal Sarovar Park related to Gujarat to spend their winter. It means that Gujarat is specially designed on a location where these kinds of migratory birds can be also seen out. If you are living in the Gujarat, then you should take this opportunity because opportunities are coming once in life and you should not leave that opportunity forever in the life. So sea turtles are also actually seen there. Sea turtle come to, uh, to lay their eggs down by down and also we can say that they stand near the coastal sites of the Orissa. We are talking whole about of the India. We are not talking especially about the Gujarat. We are talking whole apart from the India. And we will take the theories about the Gujarat also. But we need to focus totally over the Indian zones. So same as we can say Indian pythons are also available. There are various snakes like king cobras are found in the southern uh, rainforest also. So you need to understand my dear students. That this kinds of all the theories related to the concept are actually coming in the lesson. And they are making you to explain that. Okay, what we see actually is not the real theory of the world. We need to understand the detail about the world. We need to understand what is the concept about the world. We need to understand that India is not the country of snake charmers as the Britishers were calling that. India is a country of snake charmers but actually it is not like that. India is a country of beautiful animals, beautiful people, culture, respect, amalgamation, system, unity, diversity and many more kinds of things here. Therefore, if you talk about the wildlife on the extinction, which kinds of wildlife are going to be dead enough? They are not going to be found in the upcoming time and they needed to be protected right now. Also, we will study about that here. If we talk about the wildlife or the extinction, extinction means they are about to finish, they are about to disappear. Then we can say today many wildlife and species are there on the extinction. Why this is happening? Who is fault in that? We are fault in that. Why? Because we means our ancestors who made hunting of that. Our ancestral people or the people who were belonging towards a criminal zone who were actually exporting these kinds of things just by the shake of money they were doing the black marketing and today the condition is that most of the beautiful species the predators and the animals are about to be disappeared so you need to understand this theory also and you need to protect this theory also because you all are the pillar of upcoming India you all are the updated generation my dear students so therefore we can say that the animals which are about to be worse on extinct like tiger which was found in India during the last century or we can say in all the part of India especially in the Gujarat too here but now they are limited towards some kinds of zone only tigers were seen in the forest of Eder can you imagine let's talk about the Gujarat Eder Ambaji okay then if you go more further Danta and all they were found in this area and all but today tiger is only limited in some kinds of part of India. Same as we can say lions were also found here and there but today they are found only in the Gujarat Gir forest. Therefore cheetah is absolutely gone from India like we can say it is not available and if you can see cheetah anywhere then they must be imported from the other countries and they are kept inside the zoo. That's it. So we need to understand cheetah is also becoming extinct from India and Indian forest. Many birds have been also not seen in the Indian zones and if you go more further then we can see that these kinds of birds and the cheetahs and other rare species of animals are also related with the Indian uh, we can say Indian growth of the civilization since from the ancient time but today they are also not available therefore we can say whenever we see these kinds of Indian forest they are actually going to be shrinking internally so nowadays cheetah is hardly seen in India it is like not seen in India you can see a figure also which is actually displaying you the basic images of the ancient hunting also in the black and white picture now some of them like vulture we talk about the uh, birds vulture then duck we can say with the pink thought crane and other other animals like uh, uh, birds like owl and all are also version extension have you seen vulture my dear student just to ask yourself have you seen vulture today in the morning have you seen owl in the morning and if you have seen very rarely you might have seen har din nahi dikhte wo aapko sometime only you have you may have seen that kind of thing so we need to understand that these all the factors are related with the general theories where we need to protect that kind of thing and there is danger of the survival also not only these kinds of things some of the birds like chilo throw birds were once widespread in the arunachal till the northern east but now not seen easily 
and more apart from that there is a danger of the survival of the alligators too as well as fresh water we can say river ganga dolphins too alligators are killed for their flesh for their skin to make some kinds of leather things but this is not the theory where we need to call ourselves a human being who are we we need to understand who are we are we human beings then why we are doing this kinds of things there is a big question or the humanity so we need to protect our mentality first of all if the mentality is not polluted environment will be not polluted my dear student come forward and fight for the nation fight for the forest and the resources to here because these animals are uh, they they can't speak they can't say their feeling but we can we have got the brain we need to protect them so therefore we can say there is a danger of survival of the alligators also ganga dolphin too once it was seen now the dolphins are not there in the india how about some zones of the dolphins it is predicted ki bhai in the allahabad in the haldia in the uh, we can say durbi range in the kolkata hugli and all dolphins are seen in the ganga zone but it is not 100% surety it's just a theory which is not clear it's not a clear theory because they have extinct from here so somehow we can say that the number of sea turtles approaching toward the sea coast of the orissa and the gujarat is also constantly decreasing sea turtles are also constantly decreasing in the orissa and the gujarat too here along with that we can say waterfall that is jal biladi it's also not available extra in the extra amount which was also once found frequently in the narmada zone and now we can say that narmada tapi then mahe and other river but till the sabarmati but now it is also not seen that much jal biladi is and all like otters and all if it, if you if you might have seen that kind of animals or you can google it also so that your ideas should be confirmed well and therefore we can say that ki a time has come to think absolutely for us that what we should do we need to select our choice we need to understand that we need to ask the question that are we the human beings if the answer is yes then we need to stop this kind of illegal huntings we need to stop throwing plastic bottles we need to stop throwing polluting the river water we need to stop throwing the extra amount of smoke inside the air we need to understand my dear students then only we can make this everything proper blaming anyone is an easy task taking the blame upon blame upon us or yourself is a hard task we will say everybody is doing the garbage why should if i will not do what will happen ek insaan nahi karega bharat ka kya ho jayega ek se try to karke dekho why you are waiting for the other to change you change yourself nation will be changing so my dear student this lecture was still here only this is the part number 1 of the lecture i will meet you in the second part of this lecture where we will discuss more apart from thing and we'll also discuss what is the reason behind the destruction of the wildlife reason kya hai iska that also we will discuss in the upcoming lecture of the second part of this theory this is the first one till then you can take care keep revising do some kinds of google also if you want to see some of the beautiful animals which i have already mentioned you in this lecture till then you can take care jai hind